streaming live every Friday night. It's Street Talk with the Swift Gang, right here on GoHamRadio.com. Hello, can you hear us now? All right, we were having a little bit of technical difficulties earlier, so thank you for bearing with us. I am Miss Fancy Pants, and this is episode 23 of Street Talk with the Swift Gang. I'm a little hot. Hey, can you hear me now? We are in the building. Here it is a little smoky. We have the incense going. We have the aroma going. We've got the vibes right. We've got a special guest in the studio tonight. It's Kwame Badu. He's going to be giving us a live performance as well as an exclusive... Did you hear all that? Oh, he's in the back doing all of his Snapchats. He's going to be giving us an exclusive interview as well as his live performance. He's here with a friend or two. We're going to be interviewing with them a little bit later. We're going to hear the tunes of DJ Roscoe, which I'm sure you've been vibing to and jamming out to since 930 tonight. He does it each and every Friday night, jamming with DJ Roscoe. 930 to 10 o'clock, he plays all your locals and labels, all the favorites. Um, I'm not quite sure why we We've been having glitches. Maybe it's because he's too hot for you. Well, if you don't catch us on Facebook, you can catch all of our replays and archive shows, our audios, as well as our uh, videos, our, our webcast prior. We have an, uh, excuse me, let me say this correct. We have an archive of both podcasts as well as webcasts. So if you want to watch us, you can see all of the reruns. If you want to listen to us, you can hear all of the replays. And you can find that all on GoHamRadio.com. It streams 24-7, locals and labels. You can hear all of your favorite tunes from the local artists that DJ Roscoe is playing, that we've had as guests, and who are going to be featured on Go Ham Radio's first ever semi-annual Ham Fam Jam. That's going to be taking place Sunday, Oct- uh, excuse me, Sunday, April 15th from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. So make sure you go on our website. We've just done a, uh, written a blog, posted one that you can check. It's got a little bit of information. We're going to give a little bit more details later. Shows you where it's going to be at, lets you know that it's family friendly. So make sure you mark the day as a Ham Fam Jam day where you can bring your dog to and including uh, your kids and the football. We've got basketball, half courts, all that kind of stuff. So go to the webpage. You can find out more information and make sure that you're following us socially. Follow us here on Facebook, of course, and uh, make sure that you share the link. It's facebook.com slash go ham radio. We are also on Instagram as go ham radio. And, but more specifically, we want you to just go to our website because on the website you can find everything. Oh, and we just updated it. We have some merchandise in, some merchandise and some apparel that'll be coming in. You can go and check that out. Nothing's over $20, but we've got some sunglasses, water bottles, pens, stickers, drawstring bags, um, dad hats, a couple of other things with our Go Ham Radio logo. So make sure you go and check that out. But, Without further ado, this is Street Talk with the Swift Gang. We've got DJ Roscoe in the building. Kwame Badu's in the building. We've got a couple of his friends in the back. And then I miss Fancy Pants, of course. Today is February 23rd, 2018. It is a Friday night. And DJ Roscoe, why don't you let our viewers and our listeners all know what is special about today in today's episode or today's segment of... This day in time, DJ Roscoe. Give thanks, give thanks. Can you hear me? Give thanks. This day in time, February 23rd, Rudolf Diesel obtained a patent for his internal combust combustion engine, later known as a diesel engine, 1782. In 1876, Tootsie Roll was introduced by Leo Urshifield. In 1954, the first mass vaccination of children against polar began in Pittsburgh. In 1921, the first U.S. Trans, transcontinent. In 1924, the first U.S. continental air male first arrived in New York City from San Francisco. In 1999, hip-hop artist Eminem 
release his first major record, the Slim Shady Major 2000 rap album, Grammy album. Mass respect to everyone who checked in. This ends the rundown of this day in time. Now, if anyone is celebrating a birthday this day or even this weekend, feel free to give us a shout out in the comment below so we can give you a special shout out. Now, back to Miss Fancy Pants with our weekly wrap up. So, Titsy Roll was invented. That's interesting. It actually coincides with today, which is National Titsy Roll Day. I wasn't sure if it was the dance move or if it was the candy, but after his little di history or this day in time notation, I think they might be referring to the candy, right? Today is also National Dog Biscuit Day and National Women in Blue Jeans Day. So hoorah for women in blue jeans, right? At one time, we couldn't even wear these. <laughs> We're making moves, right? Moves in mountains. Today is also the birthday of W.E.B. Du Bois. R.I.P. He did pass away in 1963. Those in the living side who are celebrating birthdays, we have Dakota Fanning. She's 24 years old. Aziz Anzari, he's 35. Absol, he's 31. And Nisi Nash, she's 48. Today's tops, or this week's tops, we'll have to say is in the movie category, as Black Panther has topped with 32.5 million tickets sold, revenueing $291 million. It surpassed Jumanji, Jumanji, which in December of 2017 hit a record high, and Black Panther has swooped them out into first place. So um, if you haven't checked the movie out, I highly suggest going and checking it out. I haven't heard any bad reviews from it at all. And myself, I plan to try and go this weekend, of course. Um, I've been so busy all week, but I'm hoping to catch it without any crazy lines because I know the lines were crazy at all the movie theaters at all the times in the last week or so, especially for the premiere that happened a couple weeks ago. We were talking about lines are around the door. I'd also like to talk to you guys about some other movies that are out. They just came out today. So say you don't want to go see Black Panther yet, or you've already seen it and you're ready to go back to the movies, you can check out Half Magic. Now, I'm going to warn you, it's a chick flick, but it's written and directed by Heather Graham. Do you remember her? She was Roller Girl in Dirk Diggler, if you've ever seen that movie. Anyway, Heather Graham. Um, it talks about three women who bond by getting revenge from their miser or getting revenge on their miserable sex partners. So I saw the trailer. It's kind of like they're, you know, down and out in their relationships and they're looking for a little pick me up and they click together. And I don't know if it's, it's called half magic. So I don't know if they're using spells or what, but it seems pretty interesting. It's a comedy. So I'd go check it out. It's um, starring Molly Shannon, Heather Graham, of course, and Jason Lewis. It's rated R. So go check it out if you'd like, or if you'd like something that's a little bit more on the mystery side, but a little bit of comedy as well. There's a new movie called Game Night that's out, and that's starring Jason Bateman and Rachel uh, McAdams. It talks about a couple who goes to a weekly game night, and one weekend they're invited to a murder mystery night, which actually turns into a real-life murder mystery. So it's rated R as well, and uh, it's a comedy mystery. So if you want something that's not so funny and not such a chick flick, go check it out. You could bring your girlfriend, your significant other, your boyfriend. Check it out. I think that one might be a good one to check out as well if you'd like to go out for date night. Speaking of date night, the weather, the weather. I'm speaking to all my local San Diegans and all my family and friends that are in California that understand what I'm talking about, where anything below 60 degrees is like we're freezing. So it has been in the low 
30s. It's gotten to like 35, low 30s, um, highs of only 50s. It's rained. It's cold for us. So I'm telling you, it's cold, cold, cold. Wear all of your gear. Don't have any shame in your game if you want to go out in your snow boots. I went out in my snow boots. I have a jacket that's basically a sleeping bag and it goes all the way down to my ankles and it's got a hood and I don't care. I will wear that with leggings and Uggs and a beanie and a t-shirt and I will go to McDonald's. I don't care. I have no shame. I'm going to make sure I'm warm so I can do what I can do. So for all of my Californians out there, don't have any shame. You wear what makes you warm because we're here to survive till summer, right? We're just waiting summer. We're waiting this out until summer gets here. This isn't normal. We're going to have our 80 degree uh, days and be able to brag. So just to let you know the weekend, it's going to be cold as well. Highs in only the mid 60s, lows in the mid 40s. There's going to be a little bit of sun on the weekends, but basically it's going to be cloudy and it's even going to rain again next week. So make sure that uh, you bring an umbrella or a hoodie or something with you because it's just going to be cold and wet and When you're driving on the roads, I'm telling you, the first days of rain are the worst because of the oil. So make sure that if you're out there driving or you're in an Uber, you're wearing your seatbelt because drivers are crazy and you want to make sure that you make it to your destination alive, safe, and well. So make sure that your insurance doesn't go up this winter season (laughs) and you drive safe, safe and that you are in safe hands by making sure that you are yourself wearing your seatbelt. Um... And we talked last week about the Winter Olympics and the top five placing countries. The U.S. ranked number five with Norway and Canada, Germany, and um, the Netherlands all placing, placing higher than the United States. The Winter Olympics are almost over and currently... The tally is Norway is in the lead with 37 medals. Germany is in second place with 26 medals. Canada is in third place with 28 medals. Now, I'm going to tell you why it sounds funny that Canada is in third place with 28 medals and Germany is in second place with 26. The reason being is because gold, silver, and bronze all weigh differently in value when they're they're tallying up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So even though Canada has more medals, Germany has more gold medals than Canada. So Germany has 13 gold medals, while Canada only has 11. So when it comes to deciding who ranks first and second and third, it's not necessarily on the total amount of medals. It's how much they are worth as a total between gold, silver, and bronze. Canada, like I said, is coming in third of the 28. The U.S. is coming in fourth. All right, so we've gone up. We're coming in fourth with 22 medals. And the Netherlands are behind us with 18. So hopefully we come out maybe in third place with, you know, number of medals won this winter season. But who knows? We have, what is it, like six more medals we've got to win. And I don't even know if we're going to have six more games to watch. So keep our fingers crossed. Maybe some of those were won illegally. Somehow, who knows? There's doping all over the place, right? I just read that they have like... um There's a lot of uh, like a Russian uh, curler, a Russian curler had some kind of um, steroids or something. It's crazy. Curling is crazy. Did you watch that? It's like sweeping ice for a ball that goes over like magnetically or something. I don't know. It's pretty, it's pretty intense. So Well, enough with all of that. Go America. Hopefully we get a little bit more uh, higher in the rankings than where we are right now. We have moved up one, so we have to say we are progressing. And what's interesting is that the Netherlands um, fell to the very bottom. I wouldn't have expected that. But anyway, now, if you want to go and do some things, if you want to bear the cold, all right, if you think that you can handle it, right, I suggest going out Saturday night to go see Nelly at Park. He's going to be there supposedly 
21 and up event. Doors are at 9 o'clock. And the reason I say supposedly is because last week on the 18th for President's Day, they were supposed to have Little Wayne and he never showed up. So I don't know. I'm hoping that Nelly will show up this time because a lot of people were disappointed. You know, it's always bad business. But if you know artists and you know contracts, you know, they're always open ended. So it leaves them susceptible to plane delays for traffic delays, any kind of anything. It's also it was all star weekend. I don't know if Little Wayne was really trying to leave L.A. to come down to Dago to do a little. Uh, uh. Right. We'll see. Hopefully you can go check out Nelly. And uh, for my ladies out there on Sunday night at the House of Blues in San Diego, we've got the Chippendales. They're going to be in town on their About Last Night tour. Tickets start at $35. They go up to $55. The doors open at 8 p.m. So if you want to go and have a ladies' night, you can go check out Chippendales. You know, I've never seen them. I've seen... Um, what is it? I've seen um, Magic Mike. What is it? Magic Mike and Magic Mike XL and Double XL. So I feel like I've seen Chippendales, but I've never seen in person Chippendales or the Thunder Down Under. If you happen to get tickets, you can always hit me up. Request at goamradio.com. Attention, Miss Fancy Pants. I got an extra ticket for you and I will meet you there. All right. It's going to be again Sunday night. Start uh, doors at 8 p.m. It's going to start at 9 p.m. You can get there a little bit earlier. They do have a restaurant there, so you can grab a bite to eat. You can also get a couple of drinks and then just walk right on over. If you want to be uh, a little bit more cultured, um, we'll say this weekend, there are some things that you can do. As I mentioned last week on Friday the 16th, it was the start of the Chinese New Year. It's the year of the dog, the earth dog to be specific. And this weekend, there's going to be the 36th annual Chinese New Year's Fair going to be held downtown on the corner of J Street and 3rd Avenue. It's going to be free, family fun. They're going to have uh, dancers, artists, um, face painters, all types of great things. It's from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Again, it's on J Street and 3rd Avenue. If you want any more information, you can go to www, excuse me, www.sdcny.org. It stands for San Diego Chinese New Year. So SDCNY. Dot org and get more information. They have the flyer up there and you can check all that out. And Thursday, March 1st, all of my locals, I don't know. If you're not a local, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But the Grunions runs, the Grunion runs. Have you guys ever been on a Grunions run? You know what that is? Okay, have you heard of it? Okay, let me explain this. Okay, Grunions, it's a, it's a fish, right? And they... Um, Every so often between March, it's March, April, May, June, and July, they come up to the shores at the start of the full moons and the new moons, and for four days, they come up through the sand and they mate with each other, and you can go and you can see them on the shores in California and all the way up the, uh, all the, way up the coast of California, from San Diego all the way up to San Francisco and uh, or, uh, Santa Clarita, I believe is where it is, Santa Clara, anyway, um, it goes all the way up there. And um, for about two to four hours, they do their matings and they're um, they're just wiggling around. And it's really an interesting thing. Um, And during these times, it's only for a four day span. And you go there and the times are between about 930 and midnight. So if you want to go out there, plan to get out there about 930, 10 o'clock. They're not going to see much activity for the first hour. You're going to see more activity in the second hour. And then you'll be home by midnight or so. But it's something really interesting to do. And if you want to fish them, you can only use your hands and scoop them up from the ground. All right. The month of April, 
you can't do it at all. But other months you can. And you go and you pick them up and it's as many as you can bag. You put them in and uh, you can cook them. You catch them, cook them, and eat them. And there's different ways that you can eat these fish, these grunions. But it's just something that's so interesting. And that starts on Thursday. If you want to go, um, it happens Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sundays. And then, you know, again, another week after that. And it does it for a few months. It's really crazy. But you can go... If you're 16 and up, you do need to get a California Fisher California Fisherman's License, but you can go online um, and get that. It's very reasonably priced, but I think that would be an experience, right? So you can go and check that out. That's kind of cool, right? So you can catch them, cook them, and eat them. If you do it, take some pictures, tag us in it so we can see it, you know, throw a Go Ham Radio sticker somewhere so that they know that we in there. All right. And so for some local news... Because, you know, this is a San Diego show and we'd like to let San Diegans know a little bit about what's going on because I know not everybody has time to watch the news as they're busy working two, three jobs to pay the rent that we pay so, so lovingly here in San Diego, right? We try and say that we love San Diego, but with rent so high and these temperatures so low, I don't know if I can handle that. I might have to start writing letters to my landlord saying, we need to start negotiating. I really don't feel that this is appropriate. I mean, I've got relatives in the Midwest that have better weather than this, and they're paying half the rent. Come on, for double the size. But I don't know if that'll go or not. But maybe if I get a a troop together, right? Are you guys with me? (laughs) Those of you who are looking for a job, I've got a great tip for you. In San Diego, Home Depot is going to be hiring 900 more associates. They're expecting their busiest time to be coming up here in the summer season, spring and summer seasons, and they're looking to hire 900 more associates. So if you need a job, check out Home Depot. They are hiring. What's also interesting out here in San Diego are the Lime bikes and the Ofo bikes. Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know if you're familiar with in the downtown area and kind of in the North Park areas and in other places, they have this. They used to have deco bikes. Deco bikes were bikes that you can rent from a station and you return them back to the station. You can buy them with your card by the hour of the day, something like that. Well, now they have, as approved with... um, with the county, these licensing or whatever, as of last week, Thursday, I believe, they now have this system where they drop off bikes and scooters all around the San Diego area. And you can hop on, ride it wherever you want, and then leave it. It's got a GPS system on it. And you can go on your phone to the website, and it'll pop up all the different locations of where you can find the scooters, where you can find the bikes. I think it costs about a dollar to get it started and then 10 cents for every minute after that. So it ends up being pretty reasonable. But, you know, there's no locks on it, really. I mean, as far as Um, excuse me, the bikes go, they have a lock on the back tire. But the scooters don't have any type of lock. You just lift up the the kickstand and it goes. Because I know someone who got on one and tried to scoot away. And after about five feet or so, the alarm started going off saying return me back or the police will be called return me back or the police will be called you know spook the individual out put it back of course because you know you don't know who's going to pop up on you but we do have a pretty significant homeless population in the downtown area and leaving the bikes and the scooters so flagrant in the streets i don't understand how they don't feel that these aren't going to be disassembled or ripped off or taken and used maliciously and i was driving around the outskirts of the san diego area and i did see transients with scooters and trash cans and all types of things i even saw the police uh approach an individual who had a bike on you know and they must have found him through gps and was trying to locate these bikes but i don't know how successful this is going to be because i really don't feel the police are going to feel that this is uh, going to be of necessity for them to be hunting down all these bikes and scooters that are placed all around the city because the gps goes off that somebody took it i just you know i think they really need to be um 
more discerning with the areas that they just leave these bikes in. You know, downtown probably isn't the best place just to leave things out and about. Um, I know that this weekend, starting today and going through Sunday, we're going to have the Democratic Party's annual state convention in town. They're going to be at the downtown convention center, and they may be utilizing these scooters and these bikes, or maybe that's why it got started, to be able to show that we're progressive here in San Diego, or I don't know what, but we'll see how this goes at the end of the weekend um, with all of that. And Ace actually came out and said that because of Uber and Lyft, their business has been cut down 50% here in the San Diego market. I think if they have these bikes and scooters, it might, you know, inhibit people's use of their vehicles as well and parking. So it might even reduce them going and using Lyft and, and Uber if they can just scoot from one place to another for 10 cents a minute. I think that's cheaper than a, a surge in Uber, right? Because I mean, you're going to get stuck in lights and with the scooters and the bikes, you just get right through the lights. So maybe it's going to be a good thing. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, this weekend might be able to show us how it's going to be. Either the police are going to be sidetracked or trying to pick up all these ones that are all over the city or it's going to be a good thing and and it's going to catch on. Um, What's interesting, California has declared war. Can you believe that? California has declared war. Not on a country. Not on a person, but on an animal. California has declared war on the nutria. The nutria, it's a semi-aquatic rodent. It looks like a beaver, smaller. But California has declared war on this, this rodent because they say it will severely impact California's resources, causing the loss of wetlands, Severe soil erosion, damage to agricultural crops and levees, and reduced stability of banks, dikes, and roadbeds. Interestingly enough, they say if you happen to encounter one of these, to take a picture and to call them. Call the San Diego Wildlife. Um, So... You know, I guess put it on your Snapchat, take pictures of it, because these might be the last pictures you see of these rodents. They are trying to eradicate them. Like I said, they're declaring war. Are you for them? Are you against them? I don't even know what they are. I had to to figure out and and look at the picture, but they do look like little, little beavers. So pretty interesting. Anyway, enough with all of that. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to get to DJ Roscoe. DJ Roscoe, are you ready? I think he's in the back. He's going to be coming out shortly. So he's going to be giving us about 15, 20 more minutes of some music. So make sure you tune into him. He's going to be playing all the favorites, like I said, from your locals and your labels. He's got Kwame Badu on the playlist as we have him in the building tonight. He's going to be giving us a live interview a little bit later in the show, along with the live performance. So shout out to him and the whole crew he's got with him. Shout out to you guys. Make sure you're following us and you're subscribing to everything that we've got going on at GoHamRadio.com. You can uh, check out who uh, all the live performances from all of our prior um, artists. We also have a playlist that you can listen to. It's a song from each one of the artists that we've had on so far. So I think there's about 18 tracks on there, 18 to 20 tracks that you can skim through along with listening to any of the prior pro- uh, podcasts. I think uh, DJ Roscoe has has some jamming with DJ Roscoe videos up there. We've got a whole lot of thing, a uh, whole lot of stuff you can check out. We also have merchandise you can go shop and buy that. Dad hats, water bottles, pens, all types of things. Well, without further ado, we're gonna get into DJ Roscoe's live set here on Street Talk with the Swift Gang. I miss Fancy Pants. Thank you for tuning in with us tonight. It's Friday night. We've got Kwame Badu in the building, and we will get to his live performance soon enough. So, DJ, are you ready? Uh You ready, ready, ready? Uh All right. Take it away, DJ. All right, all right, all right. Give thanks, give thanks. Return viewers, and for those who are still jamming with us, give thanks, you know, the thing go. We keep the music San Diego side. San Diego artists, stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Yeah, man, big respect for those who are still jamming with us. Justin, Ashanti, 
regular viewers that keeps it live share the link right now to friends family you know we're up until midnight now we're gonna have an exclusive starting this one an exclusive one from the artist in the building tonight Kwame Badu this one is a big one it's it's when you hear it's you like it's you know it's your play it's twice hear this one coming straight from the top exclusive Wait, 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 right now, right now, right now, technical difficulty, but here and out, start it different, start it different, start it different, start it different, as we say, share the link, friends and families, up until midnight tonight, technical difficulty, but we're starting it out, we're starting it out, we're starting it out. All right, representing the school, Scooby D on this one. Ooh, I just wanna lay your body down. And don't worry about nothing. Ooh, you know what's going down. I'm not here to play no game. My mind's on one thing. And the reason why you keep you know you want the same thing. Baby, take it off. It's like a rocket ship going up and blasting off, yeah. You know that that's my pussy, I'm gon' stretch it out. Take away your words, relax your body, and slow it down. What you got plan for you, niggas? We gon' be a while. Play all on your body, I'm touching down on you. Yeah. I'ma get your body right. Climax in the bed to the moon with it Legs wide, girl, you know I don't play with it God bless you with them hips And yes, he blessed me with these hips I'm trying to feel inside your body And watch you while you feel I get your legs shaking And your body aching No hesitation I won't keep you waiting I want you to give me everything that you got Turn around, hit you from the back Hitting every spot, pulling on your head Just everywhere, don't stop Cause you to the bed, I can be a charming I can your body I wanna love it right now Your body I'm gonna shut this shit down Your body Your, your body Whoa, 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 whoa Give thanks, give thanks Share the link, friends, family Check in every Friday Every Friday we start at 9.30 Up until midnight now next song exclusive release from the house in the building tonight entitled Lift It. Stay tuned, stay tuned, the vibe's right, stay tuned. This is so for real, to learn to love your body, babe. Damn, me ha, put part in my demeanor, but your body's but bananas. Think I got a case of jungle feet, fuck, if I do the right thing it's like me, yeah. Would you think he got game like Jesus? Or just charge it to the game like Visa? To try to play in Spain on the island of a visa. Is the water just a drain? I'll please ya. Me ya. More your body, your body is what I'm feeling for. And I can't seem to get enough. Your love, your love, it fills me up. You bust, I bust, we both erupt. <laughs> like what the fuck? Volcano lava love in Hawaii. Bend your body over Pilates For a play with one another What we do under the covers Conversation that's body to body And you got me going crazy Call me poppy, be my lady Say baby, let's make a baby What you think about that, ay, ay. I'ma get your body right, baby I'ma get your body right
You're accustomed to the usual suspects. We've heard enough from you. Riding the waves, we make the tides come up. A critical mass of consciousness will bring the sun up and stop the gun bus. Now I don't mean to act tough. Fighting fire with fire won't get the yacht to shut up. Got to stand under, be conscious of the other. From margin to center, open your mind as they enter. Try to comprehend what this world is coming to. Ideological divide that's separating me from you. It's more than just us two, it's a place to start. Sharing in our uniqueness and listening from the heart just to spark a movement. See the change and get to it make what's possible reality inside the music and stick to it change from within when you feel this resonate that's when the story begins and we stay feeling so gifted it's all that we hope that's getting shifted nothing's ever scripted it's all that you know so we keep to Climbing up with the ladder, I'm thinking deep but I'm scattered My words are breaking like chatter, my strata to living free Was living with no routine, or giving up on my dreams Of couldn't or could I be, break this mental lock The mind and stock will flow like caffeine To hit the road like McQueen, take a break 15 In the quiet ravine, with the really pretty Heine She looking far ahead, I'm just trying to get behind her With Corona and Lyme, laying back in the mind Where the thoughts are not mine, pushing further than time And ain't nobody there to tell us, we tell her like Interstellar Taking off like propellers, while searching for better weather too Wake up the future Make up the past, it's coming off like the mask You put it on to get past the pain When nothing appears to last but time You take the sign and flip up your hourglass And we stay feeling so gifted It's all that we hope, that's good and we shifted Nothing's ever scripted, it's all that you know So we keep to vibing, going on and on, on and on Yeah. Got me doing all this work. 
ripping, it's written My soul can't take these conditions We're better than what we're given I saw the dough in the kitchen Saw the nine with addition Lately, man, I've been twitching and shaking like my old engine Mama said, go find Jesus and then you'll find some peace So I went to the cabinet and found my Jesus peace For weeks, it felt like trouble was coming and take my grace My brother just caught a case I'm wishing I took his place and I know it's foolish to think I'm skating thin on this rink My shrink thinks I should grow up But I'm close to the brink and I'm losing everyone Everything had a dream, I was everything Woke up the fucking catering Clothes that don't need tailoring Food that don't need savoring Just look at the clouds, then look at the ground Much shout out, much shout out to the arts in the building Tonight exclusive, exclusive like Thank God to Rose Better than suicide dialing Mod respect to his guest artist also Flash When you feel your heart stop and you can't let go Ready for the drop where the wings might rock With the force to push you you don't know, they need to know The artist named Kwame Badu Live in the studio tonight The vibe is up, the vibe is lit Lit, alright You're flying further than comets You know these hearts are dishonest You live this on daily basis So why you looking astonished? Steady rolling that green for dreams that make you conscious Working out on a scheme The scene is very common It's fucked up, the dreams got stuck up You're rolling that good chance While smoking that pot luck Before this them popped up Them lights were shining Binding your kindness with violence To show this man is defiant The hood singing the sirens And we can sing along It's funny how we inviting All of our deepest wrongs To feel belong to Babylon About the Babylon and different shit that people dealing with Exposing weaknesses, connects us like an analog Until the solar, I'm getting older A soldier who's showing heart like a donor Play his part like controllers No hold up like Kanye said Till I'm playing shows at the Copa Dealing with all these cobras Might put me into a coma Falling from the top When you feel your heart stop And you can't let go Ready for the drop Where the wings might rock With the force to push you
Baby, hotter than the fire. I admire the way your hips make a movie never tire. I was on a groove, super smooth. You wore red, like a wicked guy would. Robin Hood, you meet a good in the mood. Let me see your work it. Where your purpose? Who you hurting? A yadi at the party, put Bacardi in cups. I grab the mic before I pass you up. It seemed the passion of ones give the pass to someone. I'll be past the blunt before you tell that tale. I was under your spell, swimming thunder and Yo, hell. Kick it to find that trail. I the ring your bell and the put passion. Put on this song, even the one, even the man, I know the vibe is right. Vibe is right upon the one, yeah. Song entitled Pass One. Artist Kwame Badu. In the fire, I admire the way your hips make a movie never tire. I was on a groove super smooth. You wore red like a wicked guy would. Robin Hood, you meet a good in the mood. Let me see your work it. Where your purpose? Who you hurting? A yadi at the party, put Bacardi in cups. I grab the mic before I pass you up. It seemed the passion of ones. Give the pass to someone. I'll be past the blunt before you tell that tale. I was under your spell, swimming thunder and hell. Trying to find that trail that led to ringing your bell. And the passion of twos, lead the passion of blues. I'm a casual. Dude, making actual moves, putting off my youth or a Maybach coupe, never losing my roots when I'm passing through. Just hit three when you wanna kick it with me. You hit four if you wanna head to the flow. We can dance, we can jive till a quarter to five. Dark tricks on my six when you pass my eyes. Like, pass the Joe, I got hits to take. Pass the mic, I got shit to say. Say, pass me up, you gon' miss the wave. Okay, pass me up, you gon' gas me up. We gon' pass the Joe, I got hits to take. Say, pass the mic, I got shit to say. Say, pass me up, you gon' miss. The wave. Yeah, pass me up, you gon' gas me up, yeah. Baby, you should come and kick it with me right now. I've been changing up the limits in my lifestyle. I ain't never fit an image, this is my style. All you niggas with opinions need a timeout. I'm just trying to find out. Seven digits, I gave you mine. A different time zone, I'll take a flight. I'll take a time with it, and never mind. We'll make a night, I'll make it right, I'll take a light. Man, give me the medicine, and I'll give you the truth. Okay, living with melanin, and they give you the noose. Right, getting repetitive, what I see in the news. And when my rhetoric jettisons, I'ma give me a coup. I want. Nice things with the cool whip, got ice cream with the cool whip, got yeah. cherry on top. I hit a stereo talk and get my area popping, coming through it. Yeah. Pass the Joe, I got hits to take. Pass the mic, I got shit to say. Pass me up, you gon' miss the wave. Pass me up, you gon' gas me up. We gon' pass the Joe, I got hits to take. Pass the mic, I got shit to say. Pass me up, you gon' miss the wave. Pass me up, you gon' gas me up. Now run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. Run it, run it, yeah, flex it, 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 now wine, 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 Make me feel like I want ya Can I feel back up on ya The distance between our bodies Girl, you want like a warrior Another you know thing of forever grateful if you're a new viewer Check in, clock in Each and every Friday, 9.30 up until midnight Whoa Whoa Alright so much distance between us Distance between our bodies So much distance between us Distance between our bodies So much distance between us Hit me on the floor I be up late night Talking like a smooth operator Losing all control Drop top Chevy in a hoochie low I'm trying to put you in that red So girl don't get gon' sign Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah Roll tight like crimson That's how I like my women Like I like my chicken Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah Y'all come closer to me So much distance between us
listening to Street Talk with the Swift Gang. Donating it to Goodwill may be the most incredible of all. Your donations help fund job placement and training for people in your community, which means your stuff can be more powerful than you think. Goodwill. Donate stuff. Create jobs. Building a bridge between talent and industry. It's GoHamRadio.com. Streaming live every Friday night, it's Street Talk with the Swift Gang. Right here on GoHamRadio.com. Hey, look, it's those guys. Get some drinks. Are you good to try? I'm fine. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Go and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. You are now tuned into the movement with Swift Gang here on Street Talk. All right. Do you hear us? Are we here? We are in the building. Hey, this is Street Talk with the Swift Gang. I am Miss Fancy Pants. Thank you for tuning in with us each and every Friday starting at 10 p.m. until midnight. And we showcase all of San Diego local artists as well as some other artists. We had Kaini in the other week. Hello, this is a little bit better. We've had Kaini in the other week. He is from Jamaica. So not only do we do local San Diego artists, we also like to get some overseas and eclectic artists, new and upcoming, you know, whatever we can uh, showcase here. We like to do that here, especially not on, uh, not just on Street Talk with the Swift Gang, but also in Goham Radio. Goham Radio does stand for giving opportunity, hope and mentorship to other artists and radio enthusiasts. So we also have a ham jam fam or a, a ham fam jam. Let me get that. Uh, ham fam jam is going to be coming up April 15th. That's tax day. Well, okay, let me be specific. Tax day is actually Tuesday, April 17th. But the the proverbial April 15th tax day, it's a Sunday. We're going to be having a free community event. <laughs> a free community event, so make sure you're tuning in. We've got Kwame Badu in the building. He doesn't realize he's already on camera, so there's no hiding it, brother. Right there, look over. Do you see that that light on right there? Oh my it's got him. Oh my got him. <laughs> or maybe a brother, right? You will be telling us about that. We're going to get to know him a little bit more, and then he's going to give us a live performance exclusively here on Street Talk with the Swift Gang. We've got DJ Roscoe in the building. We've got his friend in the back, Hill, and uh, Corey Freeman. 
breathe. Introduce him. Is your is your mic on? Hello. Hello. Is your hold on? Give me one second. Can we hear you? Hold on. Let me turn your mic off. I don't know if we can hear you. Let me do this. Usually in the studio when we do this, it's like on purpose because they don't want to hear me. They don't want to hear you. No, it, it sounds good, man. Well, yeah, are you sure? Because I don't think uh, I, I, I can hear the song. Roscoe, do you think that we can switch the microphones? I don't think that we can hear him. We hear me very well, but can you give him that microphone and switch that one out? I, You know, what's interesting is that I was having a problem with that specific type of microphone earlier today, yeah, and, <clears throat> and now I'm having problems with this one. Yeah, just give me one second. All right, so you can unplug that one off. You got to squeeze it to, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I guess just give him that and then just, I guess you could just hold it. Just, yeah, because the, si the sizes are different, right? No, the sizes are different. The sizes are different, gentlemen. The si I'll still make it work. Yeah, it's fine. Try it. Hello. Hey, Roscoe, Mr. Engineer, this guy, he... There we go. Keeps the show running. Right. Keeps us going. Hello, San Diego. Hello. Hey. Nicole, hello, Go Ham Radio. What's well, Gucci? I am I am very excited to be here. This is... Uh, Gucci gang. Gucci gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're glad to have you in the building. I'm glad we got your microphone going. Yeah. Oh, you're you're uh, hunched over a little bit. We got you in, oh, yeah, Roscoe. Know. Can we help with the camera? Can we get him a better Six. angle here? Get no, get him to the right a little bit. Get him comfortable. All right, get comfortable, Kwame. Get All comfortable. Right, me, All right, it's like musical chairs. Like I'm not going anywhere. All right, get ready. All right, he's anyway, good. Ah, All right, you can. Here I am. Hello. Bring it over just a little bit, so really? it's facing him. Yeah, like that'll work. This way? Or? Yeah, like that. Should I look this like way? That. Yeah, you can look over here, right there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> no, you can look at me. You, okay, wherever you yeah, feel comfortable. Like, so you can speak well, to me and you can I, speak to the speak audience. To you, okay. All right. Hey. More real. Watch out out there, right? <laughs> okay, well, let's get started with our interview here. All right. First and this. foremost, are you a local to San Diego? Yes, I am. Oh, I local. have been in San Diego my entire life. I know pretty much every little um, alleyway and and hidey hole. <laughs> hidey hole. All, all the hidey holes that people hide in. <laughs> no, I, but you no, know, I've been here for a while. I was originally born in Ghana. Oh wow! Um, yeah, and both my parents are from Ghana, it's from West Africa. It's like it's like the beachy part of Africa. So it's like off the coast, and you know. Yes. Doing that. So I could think of myself as like a coastal type mm -hmm. of kid. Um, but yeah, after my my family came over here, my dad was a he was a, a professional boxer. He boxed. And OK. Yeah. And I just spent my entire life in San Diego. I went out to Colorado, but that's probably I went out to Colorado and I went out on a tour around California. But I have yet to really experience a lot of different places and I want to, you know, it's like a dream of mine. I really want to be able to like, I want to shine some light. Like I want them to know that I was there. You have a to go, <laughs> you have a to go list. Yeah. I mean like, you know, mm -hmm. I want to be in Machu Picchu and be like, yeah, mm -hmm. I rock those faces. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> okay. I, was, I mean, I, I, if they can understand my music. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? Yeah. I have, uh, I have three older brothers and a younger sister and older sister. Okay. Is yeah. the older sister in between you and the three brothers? Yeah. And you'll never get... Right, so you know how my, my name is Kwame Badu? Right. Guess what her name is? What? Erica Badu. Her, yeah, her first name's Erica. Uh, but but our, our last name, we're like actually, we're like from the crest, Badu. Like that's our family. That's like, it. That's like our heir. Interesting. Now, does yeah. she spell it the same way? Yeah. So... Yeah, so like it was funny because in high school I have very like the, interesting. I have all the little um 
TAs or front desk people ask me like they always say the same joke like every year like it was new like are you related to Eric and Badu and I'm like yeah as a matter of fact I, I am, am. <laughs> as a matter of fact I am holla at your boy hello <laughs> like, like, I think I'm here at this fancy ass school now. <laughs> but no no my, my school is nice it was, it, was, it was pretty cool at least in high school it was elementary school so I went to the ball of wax <laughs> that, uh. was, that was when like you know like I had my whole, you know, boys in the hood moment. Really? <laughs> I've had some moments. I've had some yeah. interesting moments, you know. Um, but I feel like a lot of it, I try to translate my music, mm-hmm. put my music. You know, like one time I got my chain snatched. Mm. And um, I don't know if I should even tell, tell the story. but Go ahead. <laughs> we want to know all the details. This is an exclusive. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> this is an exclusive interview. We want to hear all of the details. Come on, you're feeling uh, comfortable, personal with yeah, me. No, Give it no. to me. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I even I wrote a, like a whole I wrote like a whole story on it. And, like my my um, journalism teacher wanted to publish it in a reader. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a pretty deep story. But me and my brother, we ran around my neighborhood just like trying to find the people who took my chain. And wow. like I've had like it was it was crazy to me because it could have been like the like a moment that if I was to act differently could have changed my entire life. Hmm. Obviously, wouldn't be here, you know. I'll probably be listening to some other dude, or probably trying to dig my way out of some <laughs> something, doing something <laughs> completely something different, com- right? Yeah, <clears throat> but um, yeah. I mean, it was it was moments like that. Like I've had my friend get shot. I remember my friend? I have my friend named um, Shaka. He's a, a another local artist. Mm-hmm. I like. He was one of the first artists I ever like like really worked with. And it was funny because I got him rapping on a rainy day when we had. Like, there was a party that we could have gone to, but we were just like, nah, man, that's too much work to go out into <laughs> we're the We're just going to chill here. Yeah, so I was like, mm-hmm. I was like hey, you want to you wanna make a song? And he's like, nah, man, I can't rap. And lo and behold, yes, you can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have your own way, though, but yes, you can rap. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, I know when he when he got shot, it was it was crazy, but he was, like, such a good sport about it. Like, we were, I remember when I was going to um, junior college at Mesa, he would, like, he like ride by of my friend Caleb pushing them and he'd be like, drive by, bang, bang, bang. And I just, <laughs> as we're walking. Man. And so he, and like, I went to visit him in the hospital and everything. He was like, in, he was in good, you know, good spirits about mm-hmm. it. Like so it he cool. survived then? Yeah, yes. no, he survived. He, yeah. he even told me, he's like, he's like, bro, all I cared about was my Diamond Supply t shirt. Like, I, I told him, I was like, because they had to cut the t shirt in half just to make sure he didn't get shot anywhere else. Man. He's like, no. Because, <laughs> like, $40, well, I think he spent like 50 or 60 on that. Like, that's a lot of money. I mean, shame on you if <laughs> you think, if you're going to get money. mad at yourself for paying $50 uh, for a t shirt. That's be shame on you, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, we're glad that you're here with us tonight and you're able you. to do what you'd like to do here in life, which we're going to get to a little bit later as we get along in our interview. You, uh, yeah. you comfortable? Uh, let me see. Ah, let me get into Mr. Cool, cause you know I gotta be that man, that man that they want. Mr. Cool in the Mr. cold cool weather. In <laughs> yeah, no, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Has music always been a part of your life? Uh, yeah. I mean, it um, it definitely gave me something to focus on. Definitely gave me something to really like key in on, instead of just like bullshitting all the time. You know, it was like, wow, I actually made something that sounded really, really cool. Let me see if I could do something else that sounds just as fucking cool. And it's always like a balancing act for the most mm-hmm. part. But I I think I'm like, I'm somewhat keying in on something, you know, that's really, it's really getting in there. So, you know, here's the hope and belief. <laughs> do any of your siblings do music? No, um, actually, believe it or not, my brother... Um, he was the one. He was like the hood side. Like I feel like, like I had like the Kid Cudi life. Like I had two older brothers, one hood, one good. Mm-hmm. That's my life exactly. Mm-hmm. One brother is like, like hardcore. Did God knows what. So much gnarly shit. Like he mm-hmm. was on the news. I was like, like, yeah. And then the other brother is like Christian. Like we'll, we'll two pray. extremes. We'll pray to you. We'll pray with you just to eat a sandwich. Like yes, yeah, two complete like pull out, mm-hmm. and I love them because I feel like they both help me. They both shape who I am because I'm like mm-hmm. I feel like I'm a little bit of both of them. You know, like I'm conscious, but like don't test me. <laughs> you know, like please don't test me. But like for the most part, I try to be somewhat. You know, like I'll hear you out. 
mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah where i'm not where i'm not just like super erratic and super like like yeah anywho do you feel that your music reflects like that multi-dimensionalness of yourself yeah yeah i'm um, definitely i know um like the song roads that uh dj our wonderful awesome dj is playing dj roscoe yeah. mm-hmm. like i think that song um was probably one of the most like touching songs for me because mm-hmm. i wrote that song right after hearing that my brother went to prison Mm. Like my remember my sister called me while I was, in, I was working as a TA for San Diego State, like at the testing center, and like a little like like basically I watched kids take take exams, mm-hmm. and it was something that like because usually all I do is just chill on my laptop, and when I got that message, it just like shook my everything. I don't know, it was, it was mm-hmm. tough. And I remember I just went home. And I remember there was this producer named Zen Red who kept hitting me up. He was like, "Yo, man, we should do a song, da da," and he sent me his B tape. I was going through it and I found that one. I was like, "Yo, you made this?" And he's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "I want to, I want to, I want to try make a song to this." And yeah, it was a, it was a labor of love, I guess. So is that when you decided that you wanted to start doing music seriously? Then, um, well, I was already kind of taking music pretty like I, I knew I knew I liked I enjoyed making music and I was already like you know pretty in on it. But that definitely shaped a lot. Like I, just the whole ordeal because then suddenly life became talking to him through like collect calls mm-hmm. it was like every phone calls like an inmate at blah 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 prison mm-hmm. like, do you accept these calls i'm like yes i got a motherfucking account <laughs> you should know yeah. i accept these calls <laughs> you don't have to ask right. me this question every time yeah. and i don't know it was, it was cool because it was like like yeah i'm still talking to my brother but it's like i'm not really talking to my brother you know mm-hmm. but i mean right now you know he's doing cool he's uh, Flash actually met him. I remember Flash met. I was like, I was like, what you, th- <laughs> what you think of him? He's pretty cool. Pretty he's, he's a gangster, though, huh? Yeah, but he's really nice. He's a gangster, though, huh? Yeah, he's gangster. <laughs> he's gangster as fuck. He's just like, he's like, he reminds me of like he, he, like he literally had the Wesley Snipes and New Jack look, where he just had like, like the straight that hair. He had the same haircut, wow. gold everywhere. Just, and I'm like, he was just fresh out. I'm like. What's up, bro? Like, <laughs> like, how you hey, been, bro. Like, I love you. Bounce too. back pretty quick. Yeah, right. Like, damn. So you just got this gold store somewhere. <laughs> but it was—I mean, it was—it was really good to see him, and mm-hmm. you know, I know, like, you know, he's proud of the stuff I'm doing and whatnot. Because you know, I could have gone either way. Mm-hmm. Gone either way, and just thankful that it went the way it—it's currently going. Because even though a lot of stuff happened, a lot of shit has happened to me. I like, I still, I still feel hope. I still feel a lot of hope. Mm-hmm. Because my brother, he was the first one to want to make music. When you asked, I'm sorry, I should have asked you the question a long time ago. No, it's all right, when go you, ahead. When you asked that question about who, like if I'm the only one that makes music mm-hmm. in family, no, that is a lie. My brother was the first one to ever want to make music. And funny story, he um, had a book of rhymes and he listened to like every everyone from like Cassidy, Dipset, mm-hmm. you know. Damn, <clears throat> like he was... He was like, like basically, I feel like if he was if he lived in Houston, he would have been happy. But mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, he was he was but he was good though. He actually had like really cool bars. Well, one day we were in church, and my brother left his rap book in church. Mm. And I remember I was like nine or ten or something. And when my dad figured out, my dad's like this man's like African guy, like what? Oh my god, yo mm. what? All oh, your rhymes, everything you write. Ah. <laughs> and he like jumped in the car we went right back just to see him like my wow. dad my dad looked at my brother he's like, he's like go get your book it was like the funniest thing in the world wow. <laughs> it was funny because my brother secretly wanted it mm-hmm. so, but like he wanted to act like he didn't care about it so he was like, like you know like forget about it but yeah, I know he wanted that book of rhymes he was like bro you put time into that, that was, they were good mm-hmm. you know, he was like, you know, like he was a good rapper it's your poetry it's your yeah. your heart your soul you know, and so do you have a book that you write of poetry or rhymes yeah it's called my iphone 7 <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever lost your iphones or broken your iphones and lost all your rhymes on yeah it? yeah plenty of times but you know i love doing that that is my favorite thing in the world to do really yeah because every time i get a new notepad it's like all right let's fresh get this dog. new canvas ain't gonna and ain't gonna end up like the old one but it always does you could do iCloud and just <laughs> save your notes on iCloud. Oh, man, same toilet. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, we got to move this toilet. Like. 
<laughs> so it's just um but i i love just i love expressing my ideas my favorite thing more than writing actually is drawing I really love them. yeah I, are you an artist yeah do you I, paint or is it animator. with an animator. Inspiring Ooh, animator. so like a digital artist. Yeah. Very cool. What is that what you went to school for? You graduated well, from I San gradu- Diego State, yeah, right? I graduated from San Diego State with a degree in public administration, just okay. so I could have like a backbone because ain't nothing for free. Mm-hmm. Everybody wanna see a starving artist. Nobody wanna be a starving artist. Amen. Preach. <laughs> okay, Shaka say it. not the first time you've heard that, I'm sure. Amen. But um no <laughs> But um yeah, I, I just uh I it was something I've always I've always done since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And I remember my mom would always tell me, like, lies. She'd be like, oh, I'm going to take this to a publishing company. We're going to print it. And mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, yeah, you're going to, you, mm-hmm. you love this. And so obviously she never did it. <laughs> <laughs> but I never stopped drawing. And I always, you know, I always read Calvin Hobbes, got inspired, kept drawing. And I actually animated my first cartoon because my um, religious studies teacher asked State. She heard when she heard about my dream. She was like, mm. "Like you need to do it." She gave me tw- she gave me twenty bucks. She gave me and this other kid twenty bucks to animate something because because she was like all about following your dreams and your passion and everything. Mm-hmm. And then this kid tells me like the day before. I thought he was like a really good animator because he like she like had this pretty cool video in class. I was like, "Oh, look like you use stop motion. Like you look like you know what you're doing." He tells me the night before. He's like, "Hey man, I think I'm just gonna give her the money back." I don't think we can. I don't think I, um, I can get it done, or we can get it done. I'm like, nah, dude, fuck that. <sighs> and so I remember I went to the library Group the projects. next day. Ugh. I went to the library the next day, and right then and there, I just I I taught myself how to just animate. I just drew, like I drew a bird, drew another bird, drew another bird, and I just started numbering the panels. And I just kept going. And I actually have it on my Facebook. It's a wow. It's a little, yeah, so it's like a little skydiver cartoon. It's like four four or five seconds. It's like a Red Bull commercial. I think Red Bull commercial if they were as artistic as me. We had uh, <laughs> sure. in a digital animator who was on. Shout out to Christian Huerta. He was on a few weeks ago and we played. He's a producer. He does some songs, beats, nice. and <clears throat> we laid it to um, one of his digital animations that he created just like a whale and a surfer and it was pretty cool you know so we'll definitely have to feature that on our website if you're able to give us any exclusive copies Kwame. Yeah, i would love to actually me and my camera person we have a we're gonna be having a cartoon coming out um soon it'll be called hamsterdam Hamsterdam. Hamsterdam, yeah, it'll be. You know, considering Go Ham, we might be interest be interested in featuring <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, Hamsterdam. <laughs> it'll be it'll be a fun <laughs> thing. It's a it's a thing I've been working on since I was in junior college, and it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna have. We did of... talk that uh, pigs are the thing, right? Yeah, well, they're gonna be hamsters. Hamsters, well, be hamsters living in Hamsterdam. You know, but you, once you actually see the show, you you'll you'll enjoy it. It's a, so it'll be a good one. So, all right, stay in tune. Definitely, definitely, we'll have to have you take uh, at the end of our interview. Do a <laughs> shout out of all your tags and social um, mm. media sites where they can follow you. Well, let me ask you this: You've been doing music for a while, right? You've done a number of live performances. Is that correct? You said you yeah. toured. Yeah, yeah. So um, explain to us your first performance. What that was like. Oh man, my first <laughs> performance. Okay, can I tell you the story that happened before the first? Go one? ahead. It's what a what damn you feel good comfortable story. doing? It is okay. a really good story. So, um, I was in class with uh, the bass player of this band named Jay Sancioli. Shout out to Jay Sancioli, by the way. Like, mm-hmm. shout out to S- Sights and Sages. Amazing band. Like, the incredible. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Um, so he was in my auto shop class. And I was, I always like just messed around in class. I started like paper ball wars. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was the guy who was like, <laughs> just fuck with the teacher. Cause it's, the, the class class. Our teacher was also my football coach. And he was mm-hmm. like, like this redneck hillbilly. Like he said my name, like, bah! And he's, so like, <laughs> like no one ever took him seriously. That was like a thing. You know, that teacher in class, I think everyone has one. That one teacher is like, no uh-huh. one really takes you seriously, man. Mm-hmm. You, you're just like, you kind of just fill space. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, right? Okay. I'm not a monster. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, so he, uh, one, of the, one of the days, I started a, I started a paper ball war. And I had a, a, an eraser wrapped in a fucking, in a paper, in a ball of paper. And I flew it and I was trying to hit my friend. But the trajectory was way off. I threw sidearm. I should never throw sidearm. That's not accurate. Always overhand. I threw sidearm, it flew, 
This kid Jay was sleeping on his on his desk. That's like his thing. He just slept because no one takes his professor seriously. Mm-hmm. The ball flies, hits him square in the head, like hard, just pow! Like I saw the racer fly out. It was. <laughs> I was oh like, my no. goodness! He's gonna have and, a welt on his forehead. Well, no, this was in high school, and yeah. he like lifts up from his table. And he like looks at me. His eyes are like flaming red, and he looks like he looks like just Satan's gonna bring me down to the depths of hell. And, <laughs> and get you right? My, yeah, and so he's like, just. Pops out his arms and like, wh- really? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? And I'm like, shit. So the whole semester, I'm thinking this kid hates me. Long story short, come to um, come the end of the semester, my uh, my teacher is like reading out the grades. He does this really fucked up thing where he just reads out everyone's grades because no one fails Auto Shop. You mm-hmm. have to get an A in Auto Shop. If you're not getting an A in Auto Shop, why do you come to school? You should stay home every single right. day. Right. There's no reason why you shouldn't so, be passing out. So he's going down the names and he's like just he's like just saying A's after A's. He gets to my name. He says F. It's like bad you. F. He keeps going down the names. He gets to Jay's name. Sanchioli. F. And he just yeah. We were the only two kids in the entire class that got Fs. I think in the entire history of La Jolla High. <laughs> yeah, Fs in, in Auto Shop in Davis's class. That's like and so when the wow. class ended, me and Jay, we like go up to Coach Davis and we're like, I call him Coach Davis, that's when you know who mm-hmm. we go up to him we're like, Hey coach, like like I'm I'm like, Hey coach, like why did I get an F? I'm, I come here every day. I'm always in class. He's like, mm-hmm. he looks at me and Jay. He's like, well, you're always dicking around and you're always sleeping. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, what? No, no, you can't give us Fs. We cannot get Fs in auto shop. Right. And so Davis does one thing that I'm not going to lie, kind of changed my life forever. He looks at us and he goes, okay, Jay, you play, you play bass in the band, right? Baldu, I know you rap. Make a song about auto shop, and I'll give you guys an A. That was yeah, that was his proposal. Make a song about this class, everything you've seen, everyone in this class, mm-hmm. by the following Monday, and I'll give you an A. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, holy shit, I have to make a song with this kid that I just pegged in the head not too long ago. We have not spoken since then. <laughs> we have not said a word. Like, mind you, we have not said a word oh, to each Lord. other. It's been, like, ice cold. I, I just, you know, <laughs> come to class and just look away from mm-hmm. his direction but so i'm thinking i want to say yes but i don't know what he's gonna say but before i can even say anything he's like okay just confidently as fuck i'm like wait we should can we talk can we huddle up <laughs> can we like get a game plan going and he agrees mm-hmm. to and davis is he's happy he's satisfied that we like that we agree to that and as i'm walking out of class jay comes up to me he's like hey i'm gonna send you a song tonight get the bass line write some lyrics that's gonna be the baseline. Like basically, like this is this is what we're gonna do. Mm-hmm. Do it. Don't fuck around. <laughs> I want to get an A. Don't fuck yeah. with my grade. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> there it is. And I remember I was telling I'm shocking my friend Prince because he's also my friend mm-hmm. in high school. I was telling him and all my other friends, Amelia and um David and all of them. And I was telling how like it's so weird that I have to make a song in order to pass a class. I've never thought this will ever become an ultimatum in my, mm-hmm. entire, in my life, like ever. I accept the challenge. <laughs> yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I go home and he sent me this. He sends me um, the Red Hot Chili Peppers um, walk around or the walkabout. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that, dun, 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 with the walk around. Dun. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a. Uh, and I was. I was do you uh, remember your rap? <laughs> no, no no but i do remember it was really good and kids from other classes came in and they were like standing like there's kids like recording it so if someone has really? a recording somewhere i don't know if i really want to see it honestly <laughs> i've grown so much since then <laughs> but yeah, that I mean, was so just the did. beginning yeah yeah and mm-hmm. after that it turned out to go so well that jay um i thought that was gonna be it i was like all right cool we did a song let's just end it right there mm-hmm. he comes up to me at the end of class he's like hey i have this band you should come over and record with us at um at whitehorse I'm like, oh wow. Okay, um, sure. He uh, he picks me up from my house. We go to the studio. Mm-hmm. My God, I feel like that moment really changed my life. It was just like, holy crap! It was a legitimate freaking like full facility, and it was the first time I ever like seen anything like that. Mm-hmm. And that same day, we recorded a song, and it was a song that we cut off in our and we cut in our album. And I got in the band, toured with the band, learned so much. Wow, grew as an artist. Yeah, it changed my life. Did you continue to record at that studio? Is that where you well, yeah, record yeah, yeah, now? Yeah, we recorded there for a while. Um, since then, the band has kind of just like gone different ways. But me and Jay are actually in a band now. We created a band called The Urban, as in mm. your band. 
the urban band. Okay. But, but we're urban because, you know, got black lead singer, white guitarist, Asian drummer. We are the urban community, dog. All right. We're the urban, you know, so. All right. That's, that's and cool where do you song. record for that group? Uh, Well, we are, we just like practice outside my friend Lex's garage. Mm -hmm. and just, you know, but the cool thing about recording yourself is that you can bring your own stuff and you know mm. get just as good as anything else so i most of the recordings i would do will be with like you know me and my worry free team shout out worry free which mm -hmm. is i really want to get into that eventually um but for the most part if i was to go to sort of i know they like jay and his band size and sages they go to their guitarist i forgot his name but they go to his studio and cut a lot of songs there and I actually did a I did an interview on 91X and then they did an interview on 91X and became 91X's featured band. Interesting. Yeah, they like really so I was, I was and it was it was really cool because we went we were at the Casbah. They sold out the Casbah by the way. Oh remember wow. That? I didn't remember that. They sold out the Casbah and it was cool because I felt like a somebody. I like Tim Piles, mm -hmm. who just interviewed me with 91X like came up to me he's like it's like if it's not the famous Kwame or the, what do you call me the Legendary, he's like legendary, legendary Kwame body, and I was like, two files. It was, it was really cool. It was like a really, it was a real mafioso moment. It was beautiful. That's awesome. It was like, that's that part in the movie where like everyone dies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, tell us about um, your upcoming project that you've got because um, you're going to be performing a couple of songs for us. You've got uh, "Pull Up," I believe, is one of the songs you're going to be performing, <laughs> and another one as well, and maybe a freestyle, right? Yeah, maybe. I've actually I have my freestyle meister. Um, Worry free, we each have a really cool role. Um, Flash is a really good freestylist, but we I will be joining him and helping him, and we will be giving you guys some cool tunes. Very so stay cool. tuned. Very cool. Well, why don't you give a shout-out of all your social networks and sites and where people can contact you, reach out to you, your Instagrams, Facebook, I don't know, Snapchats, all that good stuff. You want to give a shout-out to the camera? Um, shout-out. Oh, is that the camera? Right? No, the camera right there. Right there. Ah, With the light on the tripod. Ah, there's right the there. camera. So, That's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, you can follow us at Worry Free Forever. At worry Boston, Free Forever. Kwame Badu Music. At Instagram. So my Instagram is Kwame Badu Music. Mm -hmm. um, you can find that. You'll find my cool art and you'll find updates on any cartoons that are coming up. Um, the team, Flash's Instagram is... At at Young Flash six one nine, and you can't forget Holmes. Oh yeah, Holmes. If you if you like music, Holmes is real music, and we got Chachi. What is Chachi the Instagram for Holmes? Holmes is Sup I'm Holmes. Sup I'm Holmes. Nice. Sup, like this, yes, he is like, an Instagram yo, follower up? of I'm ours. Holmes. So if you know if you're wondering, yo, who is that? <laughs> Sup. He's Holmes. <laughs> you know. Nice, nice. Uh, we got Chachi Chill. What's your uh, SoundCloud? My SoundCloud is the same thing, Kwame Body Music. Cool mm -hmm. thing about finding me is that you can find me on everything with the same phrase, Kwame Body Music. I sound like an infomercial, but you can. So if they go and just Google Kwame Body Music, then yeah. all of your social network sites and things should come up? Pretty much, yeah. It's, uh, <clears throat> Facebook, Kwame Body Music. Mm -hmm. Instagram, Kwame Body Music. Uh, what's it? What's all the other fancy stuff they got going on? What the kids got going on today? All right. Um, SoundCloud, Coin Body Music, and yeah, the Worry Free. We we have a website that will be coming up soon. Mm -hmm. It's right now it's under construction, but you can still like log in to see like a cool picture of us and get all excited. Um, but it's gonna be called it's gonna be Worry Free Forever dot com for with the number four. So and yeah. what does that represent? Worry free forever. Wor is worry free. So worry free is the name of our collective group label, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. But mm -hmm. it is our, it is our like style, life mentality, and mm -hmm. essentially just it was it was something that I I kind of just created, thinking that I wanted to get almost a Justice League mm -hmm. of incredible musicians, mm -hmm. and just like the the most like profound ones and mm -hmm. i think i've done a fairly good job at assembling a, an amazing crew but for the most part they they do most of the work themselves man they're, they're incredible honestly awesome. 
And um, yeah, we I we go by the phrase worry free, not not essentially because we we're worry free now, but mm-hmm. because we're working to a point to know, be worry free. To be worry free. Mm-hmm. You know, every day is mm-hmm. every day we're trying to make ourselves better. I know Holmes, he's a workaholic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. he like like eats frosted flakes, makes a song. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> like, crazy. His other shower makes a song. Oh, so, uh, and flash flashes. <laughs> Flash has been working very hard, extremely hard, might I add, on his album for almost like well, like close to a year now, and he is going to be releasing Flashpoint. It's a it is a really good masterpiece. I uh, I engineered a lot of it. Nice. So, so you do some engineering as well. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm engineer producer. He's in a lot of the, a lot of the songs. I do a lot. Okay. Yeah, I make the music. Um, so is almost another engineer. We have a. We just got a new artist. Shout out to um, Keep It Inside. Check out Keep It Inside on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. He is so, so dope. Oh, my God. What kind of music does he? He yeah. does lo-fi, and it's like it mm-hmm. it, it, it makes me want to give him a high five. A low f- he, he, his lo-fi, a lo-fi music fi, makes you want to give a high five. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. That. He's really yeah. awesome. Well, what's the name of your upcoming project that you've got coming out? Do you have a solo, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me, a solo project coming out? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Um, sorry, I recently, you know, as, long as, as many of you guys know, I released Mixed Signals not mm-hmm. that long ago and had a whole little thing for it where I like performed at the observatory and all that cool stuff. But I'm working on an album right now. It's called Nuances. Mm-hmm. And just N U A N C E S essentially means like new beginnings and just new everything. Mm-hmm. And I. Uh, I have some really cool songs on that. I have um I have an amazing team that's been helping me just like get closer and closer to getting the sound I'm looking for. And then the fans, oh my god, my fans are going they're going so cool. Yeah. I feel like I wish I could respond to them right now cuz they're messaging me and I want to say, <laughs> "Hey, what's up?" But that'll be so rude. <laughs> that's like it's like You already giving them a little dinner. shout out right yeah, now. Yeah, so right? I love you guys, but they've I've do you have a projected date of when the project will be finished? Nuances. Um, I want to get it done close to summer. Close about like this the, summer, two thousand eighteen. Yeah, yeah no, I hope. Beginning not summer, middle summer, end summer. Uh, probably just like beginning. Beginning. Maybe begin- if I can find the time, you know. But I, I really think you know I'll make the time, and that's that's just part of the fun, you know. It's okay. like you challenge yourself to find that. But yeah. All right. Well, thank you for coming on the show tonight. This is awesome. Street Talk with the Swift Gang. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, Kwame's going to be giving us a live performance of a couple of tracks that he's got coming up, along with a freestyle with Flash. So make sure you stay right. tuned. Shout out to Aubrey. <clears throat> Shout outs to Aubrey and all of our Aubrey. fans and local listeners and followers really? and those. From a distance, who are paying attention to us every Friday night, Oscar. despite the time difference, right? So uh, give us just a few moments. We're going to take a quick break, get them all mic'd up. And when we come back, it's Kwame Badu here on Street Talk with the Swift Gang. I'm Miss Fancy Pants. It's episode 23. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You're listening to Street Talk with the Swift Gang. How long have we been married, dear? For 76 years. He was kind and generous to me before we married, and he was kind and generous to me all these years. We decided on meals on wheels because I was getting to the point where I couldn't do all the things that I had been able to do. We're the Spans. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet. It's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. GoHamRadio.com, the culture's newest hype. Log on, listen, and go ham. 
streaming live every Friday night. It's Street Talk with the Swift Gang, right here on GoHamRadio.com. Fast-paced family life in need of a slowdown? Hello, I'm Dr. Spruce. Did you know all those green shapes on maps are parks and forests? It's true. Visit discovertheforest.org and plan to visit a park or forest near you instead of just wondering what it would have been like. While the word forest might make you think of distant lands from far, far away, please note parks and forests are closer than you think, which means things like beautiful scenery, fresh air, and family time are also closer than you think. They call me Prince like I'm royalty or something. But the places I've lived ain't no palaces. So I don't need grilled salmon or a new scratching post. Just give me a cardboard box and a can of tuna and we're good. You can even change my name. I'm cool being the kitty formerly known as Prince. You are now tuned into the movement with Swift Gang here on Street Talk. This is a GoHamRadio.com exclusive. I can't wait to get next to you. Subs in the back, playing on the old school tracks. When I pull up, candy coat on a dash, feeling like the Pope in the glass. When I pull up, no, you already heard, you ain't gotta say another word. When I pull up, when I pull up, they notice, yeah. But she chill with the bill, talking about the real, but she lost in the pill, uh. So she walks in the hills, I'm whipping my wheels, feeling hungry for a meal. Then I hit the light, bent the right, and saw her off the site. Hope she might go backwards, talk to me, quite possibly. I can make Odyssey, drop top in a lot so they all can see. Play a little cool rock with some RB. With a little smooth talk, she was on to me. With a little doo wop, it was hard to beat. Like, can I get you under arms? Play the right songs that help you feel calm. Pull up to the club and all sing along. Pull up on the buzz, let a buzz like these horns on. Let a buzz like these horns on. Let a buzz like these horns on. Shout out to Go Hand Radio. Thank you guys for this. Love the opportunity, making this dope music. When I pull up, two subs in the back, playing all the old school tracks. When I pull up, candy coat on the desk, feeling like the Pope in the glass. When I pull up, now you already heard, you ain't gotta say another word. When I pull up, when I pull up, they notice from under the moon, I park right by the sea. We'll light one till night comes, then through still down to the streets. Under the moon, I park right by the sea. We'll light one till night comes when you still down to the streets. Hey, right foot, right foot, put it inside. Left foot, left foot, let's spin wide. Lean left, lean right to your hip slide. Lean left, lean right, what we gonna do? Right foot, right foot, put it inside. Left foot, left foot, let's spin wide. Lean left, lean right, uh, uh. Lean left, lean right, yeah, yeah. You're bumping like a cardiac. I was in it when the heart detached. You were trying to match. So you call me to the floor to dance. Took a chance, took your hand like it was romance. I can show you my moves. Show you my two step, vibe to the groove. Show you how I do this, slide to the room. Smoother than cool with bell in the ball. You can tell me if the shoe fits. La, la, la. I want this forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want this forever. One time, one time. I want this forever, forever. When I pull up, two subs in the back, playing all the old school tracks. When I pull up, candy coat on the dash, feeling like the Pope in the glass. When I pull up, no, you already heard. You ain't gotta say another word. When I pull up, when I pull up, 
That was like just straight, like just beat. I didn't even use my backup hook. I was like, yeah, I want to do this just completely raw. See how, how that goes. Go ham radio. We going ham in the in the corner. <laughs> Yeah, I got you. Oh, so this is this is a beat. I think that's the beat I made. Yeah, play the play the creeper one. That's the beat I made. That's that's. You want to go on that first? Yeah, I was gonna go live on Instagram. Ah, oh, Haley, could you hand me my phone? I know you live. I know we live. We extra live. In case they don't know, they gon' know. For show show. That didn't make sense, but that's okay. Yeah. Cooking, I'm so lost in the flow. Honestly, I'm just back in the pot, but they ain't even know. I'm with the fam, we hit the show, now we back to the road. It's go hand radio in case they ain't even know. This for the coast, talking west, but they still see the glow. Every time I hit the stage, yeah, I'm flowing off the mic. Every time I got him sitting back, staring at them lights, it's like my first time. At a basketball game Trying to think how I'm just staring at the mic Hit the game Gotta turn it up a little bit But listen to the input The intuition got me so lost While I'm into it But I'm just constantly flowing at this And I'm just making a new pattern While they wonder how my ring Speeding faster than Saturn About to slide the beat straight to the bro This is Go Hand, we go pork dog I jump in the world and I'm in the mist fog I hope I can get a log and a journal Write off my worst feelings, my hurdles And everything I try to crawl But I'm like a turtle jumping off the wall Or maybe I can do like Squirtle <laughs> I got the coolest flow like you don't even know My boy Flash, he spit alive like an astro We come through like blast shows We come through our cast rows I got them cast groves Yo, you know, it's where we free Be the crew forever I can get my rain in the weather In the cheddar, I may better than Mayweather I don't care I stand in the world, I'm so prepared I look at the stairs and I'm like I got it And you know what, if I got the chain then I rock it I swear you won't take it or you won't cop it Because I got the shit that make you go like rock it Oh, oh, I got the dopest flow All my friends out there, they already know <laughs> I got that freestyle, free, free, forever Forever come over to get a meal ticket and we can feed you better. <laughs> and my flow is like cheddar. Fast as the flash and he gets the glass going. Mind is constantly a hit racing and every time I'm on the stage they tell me pattern so with Jason. Every time that pan touch the pad visionary see how I'm just constantly cooking up in the lab. Now I'm always thinking before I just did the dab. Running laces faster than the flash. Did it like I'm dashing up. All up in it, now my mind still ascending And my grandma called my phone, but I know it's barely ringing So it's back to the path that I got Call me chosen, but I'm never broken by the spirit that I got Every time I'm on the block, they know the bars, I drop it hot Like the sun touching to the earth until it slowly stop Rotation spinning, but they know it never began Until I left it, slowly started up with my friends with the fam kicking back, staying worry free. All they know is that it's me. Let me go and kill the beat. Feeling like the asteroid every time I go and kick the heat. Every time I kick this beat, wonder how I spit this weed. Every time I roll the flank, yeah, I do that 88. While we in the dash, but they know we never slow the game. Ayy, but they know we love to kick it. Yo, cash money, what they spending. But honestly, if you ask me, rappers honestly depending on the wrong things. Let me get back in it, cause I know Every time I slowly build as I grow See me flow, yeah they know I'm always in it Never roll to the soul Always straight right through the pad But they know that the note really lost Through the mad and the labs and the lid Now I gotta give what the kids Never hear while I'm posted out the frizz See the ice never coated in the neck But they know I gotta spray them faster Than the police did with some text, yeah 
some text with some text Mike learn how my burn yeah hit you up like you next I see the flow I see the flow I hope my kids know that one day we can grow and show with the whole world like a snow globe I shake it up I shake it up I make it up like shaking bacon oh my god I'm bringing home all the cheese and bacon I I feel my world is just slowly being mistaken I'm mistaken I'm taking for things I'm I'm so great and then I see my boy flash he got the cool ass verses he's like dash or maybe flash in the marvel curses in the marvel books he got them cool ass hooks he got some really dope songs that you should take a look or a sneak peek if you can see me if you can see us then you will know that we were just preachers like we jesus i freeze up like oh my god my flow is so heat up <laughs> oh my god the flow is so heat up uh-huh we in the oh that's the verse hey, gang, bro. <laughs> gang. Bars for days. That's all we do. Right. This, you know what's funny? Like this is like a freestyle session for you. For you guys, this is like a normal well, a Wednesday. Normal, <laughs> normal Friday doing. for you. Yeah, we just like kicking them. Right. Nice. All right. Well, back. well, we're gonna take a quick break, and when we get back, we're gonna say our goodbyes and uh, shout out. So that was Kwame Badu and Flash. All right. This is Street Talk with the Swift Gang. I'm Miss Vance Pants. We'll be right back. This has been a GoHamRadio.com exclusive. You're listening to Street Talk with the Swift Gang. We just just finished dinner and and it was time time for for homework. He hates homework. homework. It makes no sense. I don't know how he finds anything in his backpack. I can't find my backpack. I couldn't even read his handwriting. Holding the pencil makes my hand hurt. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's just trying as hard as I can. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. Go to understood.org, a free online resource with support and tools to help your child thrive. Man, you don't have to be so strong. Strength is not optional. This is my mother, my purpose. Real muscle is lifting her spirits between bedpans and bad news from doctors that doubt her strength. Strength is buried in bills, managing meds, and swallowing those moments of, Mom, it's me. Your daughter, remember, my strength is super, but I'm still human, right? Find support for your strength. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Need something fresh and new? GoHamRadio.com. Log on, listen, and go ham. Streaming live every Friday night, it's Street Talk with the Swift Gang. Right here on GoHamRadio.com. Did you know parking over tall, dry grass can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help, and slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. You are now tuned into the movement with Swift Gang, here on Street Talk. I think so. Yeah, there we go. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> check, check, check. Okay. One, hey. two. Oh, um, I don't know if Flashes is on. Um, check, check, check. Check, check. Hello, mic check. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> mic check, mic check, mic check. Uh-oh. All right. Looks like we're just using one right now. Mild what about my mic? Oh, it's oh. not sure. It's this one. Yeah, it's well, this, this one, one works. It's the uh. Oh, right. This one didn't work. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm sure it works. I think it's just it needs to be on. I hear it. Awesome. It's kind of like it's all right. We'll just use that one. No worries. No worries. We're just going to share that one. Can you hear us? Yeah. Everybody can hear us now, right? Hello. We're very loud right now. Shh. No need to be so loud, right? Hello. All right. Hello. All right. Well. Thank you for bearing with us. Of course, we have all of our fans out there. We'd like to say thank you for watching. This has been episode 23 of Street Talk with the Swift Gang. I'm Miss Fancy Pants. We've got DJ Roscoe on the far end. We've got Kwame Badu, our local guest artist, local from San Diego, and he is going to be at the Ham Fam Jam. And then, of course, he's got his friend with them, his uh, rap friend, his uh, compadre, what is the group called? Worry Free. Worry Free. Free. So they are part of the Worry Free crew. You can check them out online. And I miss Fancy Pants. Why don't you guys give some shout outs? Here you go. Here you go, Flash. Go ahead. Shout out to Holmes. You know, that's, that's the fam for sure. Shout out to Aubrey. Shout out to Keeping Inside. You know, shout out to all the fans. Love y'all. Uh, damn, that's like most of my shout outs. <laughs> you know, that. Great, great, uh, uh, great performance. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure you Shout know. out to Camera Girl Haley Thanks for holding it down Haley. Thank you for Shout out to Goham Thank you guys for just You know having us And this was This has been awesome I like had a blast And This is I won't, Man if we could like just We could do this interview again Pretend this didn't happen <laughs> But, <laughs> but um, <laughs> Well you know We came on here And we we're speaking about nuances Well when you guys have Your album that comes out Or your collective album We can always have you guys Come back and oh, do another oh, yeah, Feature here on Go Ham Radio You know we're giving Opportunity, hope, and mentorship To everyone in all of their endeavors So make sure you tune in Every Friday night Right here via our Facebook live stream Go Ham Radio and then you can catch all of the archives and the podcasts and everything Go Ham Radio, including merchandise that we now have on sale on our website, GoHamRadio.com. And that is where you can hear all of your local and label favorite artists. They stream 24-7. All you have to do is go into your desktop, www.GoHamRadio.com, and you'll be able to have the player right in the top right, along with the shopping basket if you want to start shopping and rep the set. So it's Go Ham Radio. Thank you for being part of the Ham fam street talk with the swift gang i miss fancy pants tune in next week we're gonna have another guest artist for you guys it's going to be two birds one stone representative g lu he'll be in the building he is one of two members of two birds and one stone they've got an upcoming project coming out so tune in next week same time same place we're signing off see you later see ya <laughs> later <laughs>
Cubs in the back, playing on them old school tracks. When I pull up, candy coat on the dash, feeling like the Pope in the glass. When I pull up, no, you already heard. You ain't gotta say another word. When I pull up, when I pull up, they notice. Yeah, but she chill with the bill, talking about the real, but she lost in the pill, huh? So she walks in the hills, I'm whipping in my wheels, feel a hungry for a meal Then I hit the light, bent the right and saw her off the site Hope she might go backwards, talk to me, quite possibly I can make your ties turn like the Odyssey Drop top in a lot so they all can see Play a little cool rock with some R&B With a little smooth talk, she was on to me With a little doo-wop, it was hard to beat Like, can I get you under arms? Play the right songs that'll help you feel calm Pull up to the club, hear them all sing along Pull up on the buzz, that I buzz like these horns, uh In the back, playing on them old school tracks. When I pull up, candy coat on the dash, feeling like the Pope in the glass. When I pull up, no, you already heard. You ain't gotta say another word. When I pull up, when I pull up, they notice. From under the moon, I walk right by the sea. They notice. Well, light like one till the night comes, they cruise through downtown streets. Put it inside, left foot, left foot, let it spin wide Lean left, lean right till your hips slide Lean left, lean right, uh Right foot, right foot, put it inside Left foot, left foot, let it spin wide Lean left, lean right Lean left, lean right Hear it bumping like the cardiac. I was in it when the heart's attached. You were trying to match till you call me to the floor to dance. Took a chance, took your hand like it was romance. I can show you my moves, show you my two step vibe to the groove. Show you how I do this, slide through the room. Smoother than cool with bell at the ball. You can tell me if the shoe fits. Like, 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 I want this forever. Like, 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 I want this forever. Yeah, yeah, do you want this forever? In the back, playing on them old school tracks. When I pull up, candy coat on the dash, feeling like the Pope in the glass. When I pull up, no, you already heard. You ain't gotta say another word. When I pull up, when I pull up, they notice. They notice.
just with my dogs in the nighttime. Ooh. Trap nigga with the chickens like Popeye. 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 Money changing colors like Tata. Tata. I'm just trying to get it, I ain't trying to die. No. She got a big ol' onion booty, make the world cry. cry. In the kitchen, wrist twisted like a stir fry. Whip it. Hold them bands down. Hey. Hold your mans down. Hey. Who told you come around? Who? That's that trap sound. Trap. Designer. Clothes. Go. Fashion. Shows. Show. Trap. House. House. Man. to me, bruise too much, I lose too much, step on stage, the girls boo too much, I guess it's cause you run with lame dudes too much, me lose my touch, never that, if I did, ain't no problem to get the gap, where the true players at, throw your roadies in the sky, wait side to side, and keep your hands high, while I give your girl an eye, play it please, lyrically, nigga C, B.I.G. B. Flossin', jig on the cover of Fortune, 5 double here's my phone number, your man ain't got the know, I got the dough, got the Slow down, pizzack, black to plus, like zizzack, dangerous on trizzack, leave your ass flizzack, flizzack, flizzack. 